finding how to make our intellect and our instinct combine. Um, and what I've been noticing, the more I teach and the more I just sort of observe the musical world is that I, I do think we're missing out on a lot by how little we consider the score. Um, and I, first of all, by this do not mean that there is a single answer we will find if we just look at the score the right way. I do not mean that instinct isn't vitally important. <laughs> um, but I think sometimes as performers, we start with a need to be expressive. You know, how can I be more expressive here? Or how can I show my feeling here? Um, and I think that leads us down dangerous and sort of unconvincing roads in, in a final result. So what I've been experimenting with in a lot of different avenues and venues is what if we start by examining the score? Like, go on the path that the score lays out for us and bring our instinct and our feeling and all of that to the score. But if we start there with the musical language itself, then A, we'll probably come up with a more compelling final result because our ideas, our expressions will be rooted in something real rather than sort of in the whim of a moment. Um, but also it provides so much fodder for creativity. You know, what I hear a lot is, I don't know what to do with this piece. I don't know, I don't know. Like I, my teacher told me to do something with it and I don't know what to do. And I understand that, but if you just learn to notice, just learn to notice things in a score, there's all of a sudden all of these opportunities for places where you can make decisions, where you can be creative. 